How's it going? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm in sunny Florida, the free republic of Florida. So, and it's pretty free, man. It's, it feels like 2019. Uh, so it's, it's a great time to, to be here and see the difference between each state and so forth. I'm from, you know, I live mostly in Tennessee, but I come back and forth here. And Tennessee is pretty open, but <clears throat> it's, it's lagging behind, obviously, what Florida is doing and so forth. So anyway, I don't want to jump on that and get off on a rabbit hole here. So, so basically, what, you know, what keeps you motivated? And you know, it's a little bit different than, than my mortgage videos um, you know, from day-to-day -day basis about guidelines and so forth. And actually, I do have a guideline that I'm gonna tell you about. But sometimes, you're just not motivated. Like today, I'm, I'm motivated, I'm, you know, but it's not every day. So the, the main thing that keeps me motivated is thinking about how many people are depending on me to try to help them with their own families, whether it's my team members, whether it's, <clears throat> excuse me, my realtor partners, whether it's the sellers, whether it's the buyers, uh, obviously my, my own family, I mean, all that. And there's people depending on you every single day. So sometimes you're just not motivated. Sometimes you just don't have it that day. So what makes sense uh, that's helped me early on is just get up, start taking the motion, start getting, fo you know, start doing the things that you normally do to, to make you, you know, successful every single morning. There's some mornings where I don't feel like waking up, believe it or not, even though I do wake up early and people give me crap about it all the time, but you just have to take the first step in and, and take the next step. And before you know it, things are flowing. So I learned this early on from coaching and, and you know, from people coaching me, business partners and so forth is, you know, sometimes we're just waiting to, to eventually be, you know, ready to, to go and go all out. But there's a lot of times where it's just not there, so you have to physically start making those motions forward, okay? Whether it's, it's learning some, something new, whether it's uh, you know, calling clients back, whether it's you know, trying to hit your sales goals, whatever it may be, start physically doing it, and then the rest will follow, all right? You'll be amazed how your mind starts shifting as you start taking those steps forward. Uh, and then, you know, it could be a bad Monday, it could be raining out, it could be 20 degrees, sounds like a Tennessee day after the holidays. And then, you know, you're like, ah, I don't feel like doing anything. But if you just get up and you start doing the same thing that you do every single day, eventually your mind and your, your emotions catch up to your physical. Uh, it's just, it's worked for me all the time. I know it's a simple thing. I know I'm going a little bit off a tangent on this, on this video that, that I normally do when it comes to mortgages, but I do have a tip for you. Okay, so the tip is, okay, if you are getting a gift for, for FHA for a down payment from a family member, okay? Now, here's the thing. It's a sticking point sometimes. People get a little bit upset and a little bit out of shape, and I can see why. I see both sides of the fence, okay? What has to happen when we get the FHA gift from a family member is that we have to get the bank account of the donor. Yes, mom and dad's bank account the last 30 days to show that they've had the money in there. Why do they do that? Okay, so I've been doing this about 18 years plus, seems like 81 some, day, some days, uh, but basically the reason why they do that is that when they had the crash 13 years ago, which was an absolute nightmare, and it had to happen because it was loosey-goosey, is that people were getting loans on the side, whether it was personal or anything else, or, or getting a personal loan or getting different types of loans, and they would use that loan money for the down payment and so forth. So back then, you could do stated income, stated asset, which sounds insane these days, right? But it wasn't back then. It was Wild West. And people would just take their funds and basically, um, you know, take those funds from, from uh, a credit card or take it from a loan or something else. And that affected the payments on the mortgage because <clears throat> when people start, started seeing the houses going down, people say, you know what? I don't need this house. Screw that, but I'll still make that payment over here, which was my credit card bill or my, my loans and you know, a personal loan to get that house, okay? So that's why they ask where the money comes from FHA. Now, in conventional, different ball game. Conventional, we don't have to show mom and dad's bank account, who's the donor, to uh, junior, uh, son, daughter, and so forth, okay? Uh, but, but, they, but, but we always have to show the funds either going into the accounts, whether it's FHA or conventional, going into the accounts from the donors or going it directly to the title company, which saves them paperwork. So just a little tip, FHA, you have to get mom and dad's bank account for the last 30 days to show that they have the funds. Conventional, you don't. Don't ask me why, it is what it is. If you got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9000.
Have a great day. I got a busy day. Can't wait to speak today. Speaking to some agents. I love doing that. And have a great, great Tuesday. Bye-bye.